So I want you to picture something. It's 2022, you're an adult now, you pay taxes, and for some reason, you get this hankering for some old video game nostalgia time. So you call up your parents and you ask them, hey, do you still have all my old video games from when I was a kid? All the old NES, Super Nintendo, or Genesis games that I had. They come back and are just like, sure, we still got them. Come get them and you can enjoy them. So you go, you bring them home, only to figure out that your consoles have completely just crapped out on you. They no longer work, they won't read the games, they won't turn on, you lost the power supply, whatever the problem might be. So you take to the internet or your local game store and you discover this company called Hyperkin. You look around and you see a new type of console that can play the exact three systems of games that you had, the Retron 3. Now what is the Retron 3? The Retron 3 is a console that simulates three separate consoles and can play Super Nintendo, Genesis, and NES games. It's essentially got three different boards in it that simulate the three different consoles. There's a dial on the top of it that lets you select which console you actually want to play from. On the back, it's got your standard AV out, your an S video out. There is a switch on the back of the console labeled OJ, which allows you to switch the region of the Genesis port and a DC power in for the supplied power brick. I had an NES growing up, but I'd never had access to a Super Nintendo or a Genesis. So getting this console was really what allowed me to start my collection of retro games because it gave me the ability to actually play the games that I had. So if you're interested in starting to collect retro games, something like this might be on your radar. And for how cheap these are compared to the original consoles nowadays, these are kind of hard to beat. But the big question about something like this, how does the audio and the video compare to the original hardware? Well, I prepared a little video guessing game so that way you can get a look at what each of them looks like and how the audio performs. So take a look and let me know how many of them you got right.
that's pretty different. And that's really my biggest gripe about the Retron console is how much it does affect the visual and the audio that you experience while playing the games. Now, this is a, fair, a very old version of the console. I think I bought it back in 2016, 2017. And I'm sure Hyperkin has gotten better at simulating those consoles in the newer revisions of their Retron consoles. One thing to note about the Retron consoles, it is a solid plastic build and it does feel rather cheap in the hands. A far cry from the build quality of any of the consoles that this thing tries to replace. But for how cheap it is, I can understand that because they had to cut costs somewhere. Right, I never actually talked about the cost. This specific model was about $80 whenever I picked it up, but they've modernized it a little bit more to give you an HDMI out, and that version cost $100. And they have the Retron 5, which lets you play, uh, let's see, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Super NES, NES, Super Famicom, regular Famicom, Genesis Mega Drive, and Master System games for a little under $200. And if you're just interested in playing these games again and aren't a super stickler for quality, that is a fantastic deal. Considering an NES is going for about $50, a Super Nintendo is going for $100, a Genesis is going for 50 bucks. Game Boys and Game Boy Advances are not getting any cheaper. And good Lord, if you're trying to import something. So what do you guys think? Is something like this worth the money given how much of a difference it gives to the playing experience? Or is that a bit of a preferred route for newbies in this hobby because it gives access to so many things for a relatively cheap starting price? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Have a good one, y'all. The Retron 3 essentially has Ignore the rattling, I have taken this thing apart a couple of times and something broke off inside of it.